Uh, Greg Udelhofen with uh, ForeConstructionPros.com. I'm here at the World of Concrete 2017. I'm with Brad Kehoe, and he's with the uh, Caterpillar Building Construction Products Division. We're here to talk about the small wheel loaders, and, and the, they're now equipped with the um, cap production measurement technology. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that, Brad? Yeah. Okay, so for new for 2017 on our small wheel loaders, we've introduced something called CAT production measurement, and it's a system that's integrated up here into our display that allows you to measure payload on the machines. The CPM, or CAT production measurement, uh, utilizes some, some sensors in the linkage. It allows the customer to measure exactly the amount of material that's in the bucket. Uh, this is great if you're loading trucks, if you're loading a hopper, you can, you can measure your production. It also goes into the back office as well through our telematics. So if you're working back there, you can see exactly how much tonnage you are moving uh, per day or per week to stay on top of, of your numbers. Um, we've also introduced a couple other things as well um, with the 2017 update, including tire pressure monitoring, also known as TPM. That again is integrated into this display. Uh, tires are a big expense for customers, and that allows you to measure both the pressure and the temperature in those tires to keep them uh, at the right values um, to, to in, uh, improve the longevity uh, of your tires over time. Also, uh, for 2017, we've done a, a few updates uh, in the cab. Uh, in addition to that touchscreen display, you're also going to get a full suite of new LED lighting options. So if you're running late in the, uh, late in the day or early in the morning, you're also going to get uh, some improvements there for better visibility. Yeah, so Brad, I was kind of curious, why did Caterpillar decide that, that this technology, the uh, cap production measurement technology, was appropriate for the small wheel loader line? Yeah, so great question, Greg. Um, it all starts with feedback from customers, and in the past we've used some, some third-party type of measurement systems that uh, became uh, particularly popular um, with customers, a lot of times in, in the concrete type batch plant where you want to measure accurately what uh, the amount of material is in that bucket so you're topping off your trucks accurately each pass. Um, so instead of doing you know four or five passes to get it right and meter it in, you're doing three passes exactly. Um, you don't want to underfill a truck, right, because that's money you're losing down the road. You don't want to overfill it. You run into fines and things like that. So we had demand for it um, and we wanted to bring it in to integrate it into the machine and with this new nice touch screen display and then the sensors on the on the linkage that allow you to do that do that it's it's very intuitive for the operator they can count their trucks as you go through the lift range you're going to get an accurate measurement of how much material is in there and then when you're you're filling off those trucks you can count them you can count your hopper you can measure the amount of production throughout the day uh, it's just giving you that little bit of extra edge as well from an efficiency standpoint Okay, so can we uh, expect anything else new with the small wheel line down the road here? Or? Uh, well, just new for, for this year. Um, we've done a couple other minor tweaks as well. Right here in front of me, you see this extra storage compartment. Um, operators can store a grease gun to, to, um, to get to some of the service points on the machine. Um, we also have introduced this tire pressure monitoring system as well. Again, you're going to be able to monitor that from that new nice display. Uh, you're looking at both the temperature and the pressure in your tires. That is probably the number number two or three big, biggest expense for a wheel loader owner or operator. Uh, so having that information there lets you know when your tires are low, you can refill them, you see if you have a problem, you can get that longevity out of the tires and not replace those as often. Great, fantastic. Thanks for the update. Yep, no problem.